Hi, I'm Stoya. Recently, I got pretty obsessed with professional wrestling. And we're gonna recreate some of the most legendary promos for fun, because I'm a weirdo and I like fake mustaches. And I have the strongman costume. How dare you, little jabroni, come on to The Rock's show. Come on to The People's show. Come on to the premiere show, SmackDown, and... And run your mouth about how you're the WWF champion. And run your mouth about how you're the game. Well, The Rock says, if you are the game, then quite frankly, you need to go back to the drawing board because your game absolutely sucks. Nothing means nothing. Nothing means nothing, man. I'm talking about all the way to the top, yeah. I'm justifiably in a position that I'd rather not be in, but the cream will rise to the top, oh yeah. Macho Madness, yeah, has got more to offer than President Jack Tunney thinks that I got, yeah. And let me tell you something right now. Cards stacked against the Macho Man Randy Savage in WrestleMania 3. Let me say it. Yeah, let me say it out loud. And let me point to the president of the World Wrestling Federation. The Macho Man Savage is not happy with your decision. Yeah, I am the cream in the World Wrestling Federation. And there is no doubt about it. Yeah, you mean Gene Okerlund? You know that I'm the cream of the crop. First thing I want to be done is to get that piece of crap out of my ring. Don't just get him out of the ring, get him out of the WWF. Because I proved, son, without a shadow of a doubt, you ain't got what it takes anymore. You sit there and you thump your Bible and you say your prayers and it didn't get you anywhere. Talk about your Psalms, talk about John 3.16. Austin 316 says I whipped your ass. Steve Austin's time has come. And when I get the shot, you're looking at the next WWF champion. And that's the bottom line, because Stone Cold said so. Oh yeah, it's been hard to live with, man. Fee, fi, fo, fum, Andre. One long year and your time has come, man. No marks, no scars, no blemishes on the Hulkster, brother. But inside, man, I've been scarred for one long year. Everywhere I go, man, all the little Hulksters ask me, is there any truth to the fact that there was a controversial count? Hulkster, did you really get him over your head? Did you really beat the giant? Well, today, man, in WrestleMania 4, we're gonna wipe all that controversy out. Andre the Giant, in the second round, when you're fresh as a daisy with the whole world watching, I'm gonna prove, brother, that I can beat you anywhere, anytime. And all my Hulkamaniacs, they're gonna feel it too. John Cena, while you lay there, hopefully as uncomfortable as you possibly can be, I want you to listen to me. I want you to digest this because before I leave in three weeks with your WWE Championship, I have a lot of things I want to get off my chest. I don't hate you, John. I don't even dislike you. I do like you. I like you a hell of a lot more than I like most people in the back. I hate this idea that you're the best, because you're not. I'm the best. I'm the best in the world. There's one thing you're better at than I am, and that's kissing Vince McMahon's ass. You're as good as kissing Vince McMahon's ass as Hulk Hogan was. I don't know if you're as good as Dwayne, though. He's a pretty good ass kisser. Always was and still is. Whoops, breaking the fourth wall. I am the best wrestler in the world. I've been the best since day one when I walked into this company. And I've been vilified and hated since that day because Paul Heyman saw something in me that nobody else wanted to admit. That's right. I'm a Paul Heyman guy. You know who else was a Paul Heyman guy? Brock Lesnar. And he split just like I'm splitting. But the biggest difference between me and Brock is I'm going to leave with the WWE Championship. I've grabbed so many of Vincent K. McMahon's brass rings that it finally dawned on me that they're just that. 
They're imaginary. The only thing that's real is me and the fact that day in and day out for almost six years, I have proved to everybody in the world that I am the best on this microphone, in that ring, even on commentary. Nobody can touch me. And yet, no matter how many times I prove it, I'm not on your lovely little collector cups. I'm not on the cover of the program. I'm barely promoted. I don't get to be in movies. I'm certainly not on any crappy show on the USA Network. I'm not on the poster of WrestleMania. I'm not on the signature that's produced at the start of this show. I'm not on Conan O'Brien. I'm not on Jimmy Fallon. The fact of the matter is, I should be. And this isn't sour grapes, but the fact that Dwayne is the main event at WrestleMania next year and I'm not makes me sick. Oh, hey, let me get something else straight. Those of you who are cheering right now, you are just as big a part of me leaving as anything else because you're the ones who are sipping on those collector cups right now. You're the ones that buy those programs my face isn't on the cover of. And then, at five in the morning at the airport, try to shove it in my face and get an autograph and try to sell it on eBay because you're too lazy to go get a real job. I'm leaving with the WWE Championship on July 17th. And hell, who knows? Maybe I'll go defend it in New Japan Pro Wrestling. Maybe I'll go back to Ring of Honor. Hey, Colt Cabana, how you doing?